Thank you for joining us for this quick video introduction into 2024. We're looking forward to a fantastic year together with live training, premium webinars. We've got plenty of other free webinars coming up throughout this year. I'm going to pass over to Craig Price, one of our key presenters uh, into the program. He's been working with us for a number of years now, and he's going to introduce some of the topics that we're looking at throughout this year. And we've also got Tony Ladson on board, who's going to speak to the R Essentials course that's coming up, the first course for 2024, first live training course. So passing over to Craig now. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Joel. Yes, looking at our preview of content for 2024, we're very excited to bring you a new feature called a premium webinar. So the other day we had over a thousand people joining us, watching some really cool new features on AI tools for modeling. Everybody got to follow along and watch somebody do some really cool things, our expert presenters. But if you want to do it yourself on your own computer and uh, harness some of the capabilities of AI to improve your workflow, we're going to be running two premium webinars covering the content that we saw in this overview. One of the things we'll be doing is using chat GPT to talk directly uh, in real, just in English language and have it do some really cool things that uh, used to require a lot of intense programming and, uh, and scripting skills. We will also learn about segmentation and how to harness some of the codes that are already out there and already written to customize some scripts and allow the software itself and allow AI to come in and do some segmentation pulling out buildings, uh, building footprints, land uses, and a lot of the tedious tasks that water modelers need to do in their professional lives. Have a look at some of the other content we'll be bringing you, uh, tailings, dams, physical modeling, paleo floods, uh, pit lakes. We'll uh, be talking a bit about dam breach modeling and scour uh, assessments. We'll be taking a deep dive and see what happens under the water, uh, deep down under the sea to the uh, marine structures. Um, CFD modeling. Uh, there's so many things we'll uh, be bringing you in 2024. I'm excited to be with you here uh, introducing these and I'll be joining on some of these courses as well. Uh, Tony will talk a bit about our essentials here. Uh, we also have wave modeling with Swan, some flood modeling with Tuflow, QGIS essentials, Python, Bridge Scour, Dam Breach, Tailings Dams, all sorts of content uh, that we're excited to bring you this year. We want you to be multilingual. We've had a lot of Python content in the past. Uh, we don't have a webinar at the moment that we've got uh, to introduce R to you. So we'll have Tony come on uh, briefly here and explain a little bit about what you're going to learn in this upcoming course on R. So over to you, Tony. Thank you, Craig. So yeah, I'm going to be teaching the R Essentials for Water course. If you're interested in the course, you can just scan the QR code there. That'll take you straight to the website. We've got three times two hour sessions in consecutive weeks, and we're starting on the, the 20th of February, so coming up quite soon. Just a couple of examples and a little bit of an introduction. So when I first started learning R, it was like my first snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef. There's a whole world down there. You can dimly see it through the water, but when you get down there, there's just amazing stuff. It's super exciting, and there's way more than you ever thought. And I've also included an action shot of myself there to convince you that I don't spend my whole time sitting in front of a computer doing R. You can still have fun even if you're into R. A little bit of a showcase. I won't go into much detail, just, just three examples. So the first one is to do with flood frequency analysis. In Australia, we tend to use a program called Flyk to do that. And some of the, the uh, graphical outputs from Flyk are just a little bit clunky. So I wrote a program that takes the graphical file from, from Flyk and reads into the R and improves it. it. It makes the y-axis easy to understand. And I can easily produce the uh, transform probability scale that's required on the x-axis and, and plot the... Um, the required things. So that that's straightforward. You can easily get some nice outputs. My second example was to do with a, um, a when should I plan my kayaking trip on the King River? So uh, I had this question, when, when should we run a kayaking trip? So um, I'm a hydrologist. I got um, the 30 years or so of flow data for the, for the King River and I plotted the flow on every day. So for the for each of the 30 odd years. So when you go kayaking, it's better if the level on this gauge is above about 0.6 and ideally above about one. So you can see in the in the southern hemisphere summer, the flow is quite low. 
up until about May, June, starts to increase, gets higher in August, September. And then I got R to just draw an average line through all those daily flow points. So you can see we're commonly above the 0.6 in August and September. We can go further with that, though, and calculate the probability of getting a good kayaking level by looking at the proportion of flows that are above our required level of 0.6. So I'm just calculating the probability that any day, the flow in any day, or the level in any day is going to be above about 0.6. And um, once we get to June, July, and August, it's about 80% high, 80% chance that you're going to have good flows for your kayaking trip. Now, this work actually led to some paid work where I had a project to uh, help some people who were trying to do some field work for a bridge, geotechnical drilling. They wanted to know when they could have their drilling rig on site that had the minimum chance of flooding. So I did a similar thing and gave them the dates that uh, there was the least chance that they were going to get disturbed by floodwaters while they're doing their geotech drilling for the bridge. The third example is looking at some water quality issues in Western Port, which is this water body here in southern Victoria. You can get R to draw these um, shaded relief diagrams. This is some of the inflows going into Western Port and where there's gauges. So I've shaded the area or coloured the area above the gauges. I then wanted to visually show what proportion of the catchments was being monitored and which was ungaged. And I did, a, did that using a tree diagram. So for each of the main tributaries, we can look at the proportion that's gauged and ungaged, and then we can get the overall proportion of the catchment draining to Western Port that's gauged and ungaged. So we've got some information on the water quality in this proportion of the catchment. We don't know necessarily about this proportion, so we need to model out or factor up our values in some way to take account of that. So yeah, that, that's all I had. Um, that's just a quick example. So thank you. And if you want to know more, come back on the uh, 20th of February and enroll in the course. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Cray, for introducing the year. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to those fantastic events coming up throughout this financial year, at least. We, are, we only went to the, <laughs> to the next six months because there's plenty of other workshops and live training courses and other things that we're planning throughout this year. So stay tuned. Please sign up to our website. Sign up as a subscriber to our uh, YouTube site as well. We've got over 13,000 subscribers there and over 30,000 subscribers to our, to our mail list. So yeah, a good sized group of people that have a great community of, of interest into these topics. So look, we're looking forward to hearing from Tony in a few weeks time and please join us for that first workshop. Uh, and yeah, looking forward to the, to the year together. So thank you, Cray. Thank you, Tony, for your time. Cheers.